FBI, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it so much. D, welcome. I never knew the FBI was struggling with their love, but, <laughs> but thank you for the likes. Um, I appreciate it. How are you? Um, I'm great, Tabitha. How are you? Thank you for being here. Thanks for being here in the galaxy, love. I appreciate it so much. RWD Jr., welcome. You're good, Tabitha. I'm glad you're doing, doing well. Hello, Bobby. Lindsay, hi. Thank you for being here. Cassie, welcome. Kylie R., hello. Jill Riley, welcome. Courtney MK, hello. Sabrina, hi. Joe, hello. I'm a real woman. Thank you so much for being here. Chessa, welcome. How are you, real woman? Betsy P, hello. James, welcome. Hello, Jamie. Kelly, hello. Hello, Tiffany. <laughs> when do we get the bad boy stream? When I've been bad. But I've been a good boy. Sorry. Sorry, Jamie. I'm doing great, real woman. Thank you for asking. Where is the love ship? The love ship is in Ohio. I will be getting the love ship ASAP. Mac, welcome. How are you? Maria, don't worry. The love ship will have its day. Jeep Babe 74, welcome. Kyle, hello. I feel like call her down. That's better. No call her up tonight. Buyer's family, welcome. Hello, Ox. You have a dilemma. I thought you said you had dementia. <laughs> First. Maria, what is your dilemma? Flacco, hello. Miss Anne, welcome. Hello, Danica. Miguel, hi. Modern Mom Magic, welcome. MG Photography, hello. Francis and Antonio, thank you for being here. Angela, hi. How are you? Preston Tucker, welcome. Hello, Rosie. Remember how you said I should double text that guy and then go know his contact? Yeah, I never texted him. Well, Danica, <laughs> stop playing yourself, girl. I did go ghost, though. Well, as long as you're happy, girl. So I have a boyfriend, the guy with the cats. He has been so great, but... Hello, Katie. Thank you for being here. Kels Crown, hi. 25 people, 27 people. If you're new here, click the follow button. I appreciate it so much. Double, double tap that screen. Drop those corgis. Make those corgis shake their ass, and I'll follow you back. And if you're not a Love Ranger yet, click the star. Become a Love Ranger. Don't be a free freeloader. Click subscribe. And get love next to your name. Cassie, thank you so much for the follow. Melissa, hi. RB, welcome. Thank you for the follows, everybody. This doctor I hooked, hooked up with a year ago that always kind of flirted with me has been messaging me. So your dilemma is, do I be a hoe or do I not be a hoe? That doesn't sound like a dilemma, Maria. And ask me to come to Austin, Texas. How, again, Maria, how is this a dilemma? Hey, Maria, you have a boyfriend. You have a boyfriend. And hey, Maria, you were in here crying about losing this boyfriend. And you have him because he chose his cats over you. And you have him. And now you're like, I have a dilemma because the doctor I hooked up with is messaging me. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Cassie, thank you so much for being here. I remember Cowboy dumped me in the work parking lot? I do remember that. I remember <laughs> that vividly. Jeannie, thank you for being here. If you're new here, click the follow button. I appreciate it so much. If you drop those corgis, I'll follow you back. It just, it just wouldn't have felt right if I would have texted him again because he left me on red. Well, Danica, as long as you're moving on, do your thing. Go no contact. I'm just trying to weigh my options. Hey, Maria, you have a boyfriend. You don't have options. Your options are stay with your boyfriend or leave your boyfriend. <laughs> what makes men keep coming back that's not... I feel like we could we connect and keep talking and then ghost. What makes men keep coming back that's not... I feel like we connect and keep talking and then he goes. So, Rosie, you're not sleeping with him? Brittany, hello. Riley, hi. Mona Fabi, welcome. Sammy, hello. No. Okay, so you're not sleeping sleeping with him. He keeps coming back, and then he goes on you. Um, is he trying to sleep with you, Rosie? I don't want them to only want that. I got you. Remington, thank you for being here. Amber, hello. I love Kawhi. Thank you for being here. 
Polly Gal 37 hello. Yeah, there's a few guys that I never met that keep coming back. I wish you nothing but success. Well, thank you, Prince. Back at you. They try, but I hold off. So, Rosie, there's our answer. They keep trying, and you're like, no. So he keeps coming back <laughs> to keep trying. That's what I'm asking. Do I stay with a nurse boy that dumped me, or do I go to the doctor boy? Well, Maria, are there any relationship issues? Um, what is it about the nurse boy that you're thinking about leaving him for a doctor boy? Hope y'all have a possum night. Well, thank you. Prince, thank you for the follow. Or I caved and that's it. Linda, well, thank you. Eliza, I appreciate it. So, Rosie, it seems like you're in this situation where you're talking to this guy and he wants to get it on with you. And you're like, no. And then he goes. And then he comes back and he's like, did you change your mind? And you're like, no, I didn't change your, my mind. And then he goes. And then he comes back. He's like, you sure you didn't change your mind? And you're like, no, I didn't. And then he goes. That seems like what's going on. He's just checking to see if you change your mind. Are you in a relationship? I am in a relationship. Yeah, that gets exhausting. Like, why do they keep coming back if, if we never even met? He doesn't want to, to move in together. He doesn't want to get married and have kids. Well, Maria, do you want to get married and have kids? He never wants to move in together. I mean, this guy has cats. He's avoiding as fuck. DNS, hello. Zach, hi. It's not like I don't want it, but I'm more of, I want more and can't find a guy that wants me and not that cat. I mean, I hear you, Rosie. But I feel like that's what's going on in that situation. Loving me isn't enough and treating me well isn't, isn't enough to move forward. Well, break up with him. Maria, you're, you're clearly not happy with this guy, so break up with him. And then pursue something else. But you shouldn't leave him because you have another option. You should leave him because you're not happy. <laughs> you know? Don't leave your boyfriend for another guy. Leave your boyfriend because you're not happy with him. And then try with somebody else. Do you want to, do you want to be a monogamous or <laughs> um I'm a I'm a very monogamous person. Cassie, thank you for being here. Connie, hello. Christopher, welcome. I'd be happy if he wanted to move forward. He just wants his life to be as is. We'll put that ultimatum out there, Maria. We can just tell them we don't we don't like anyone. Maybe they'll get the hit and leave us alone. Juicy J, hi. I'm not 16. I want to live together. I, f I feel you, Maria. Put that ultimatum out there. And if he doesn't want it, leave him. Hello, Chris. Patricia, hi. Honey B22, welcome. Amy, hi. Sherry, thank you so much for being here. Redneck Barbie, hello. How are you, Amy? Tristan Underwood. Hi. L. Terry, welcome. Lost Directions. Hello. GMJ, hi. Click that follow button if you're new, y'all. I appreciate it so much. 40 people in here. I appreciate you. If you drop corgis, I'll follow you back. User 31, hello. I get treated well. I just want things to move forward. That's awesome, Maria. Um... Communicate that to him. Let him know if he doesn't. If he doesn't. Um, if he doesn't want to live together, you're just not. You're not willing to continue the relationship. Self interviews. Hello. It's cute, but kind of scary when you tell them you aren't interested in a relationship, but they keep trying. Hi, Michelle. Well, Danica, if you're scared, block them. Hi, Sam. Hey, girl, hello. You can't have both, Danica. Day, welcome. Honeybee22, hello. Lindsay Chain, hi. Janet, hello. How are you, Lindsay? Went, went on five days, five dates with a guy thought, or five days with a guy, thought it was going well, never slept together, and then he cut me off. You went on five dates with a guy and thought it was going well, and you never slept together, and then he cut you off. Hello, Vaughn. Brittany94, hi. EJ, welcome. Where are you from? 
Um, I'm from Ohio Day. Where are you from? Or Bristol? Trailblazer High Tiffany, thank you for those likes. Thank you for the taps, y'all. Y'all the best. Simple life, hello. Hugo, hi. It sounds like he just wanted someone quick and he found out you and found out you weren't easy. I mean, five dates is a lot of dates to find out someone's not gonna sleep with you. If that's all he wanted. There's a difference between where you're from and where do you live, facts. So like, when do you know a guy is interested if it isn't the number of dates? We talk all the time. Simple life, how are you? Um, you're gonna know somebody is interested based on their effort and it's that simple. You know, if you're if you're confused by somebody, the answer is no. Um, love shouldn't be confusing. Damn, we need you and you're too good at this. Well, that's what I'm here for. So I'm here for Cassie, I got you. You need help with love, I'm here. You know, it's that simple. Um, if somebody's interested, they're gonna put an effort. And if they're not putting an effort, then they're not interested. Don't don't count the number of dates. Uh, just pay attention to, to their actions, to their effort. User 57, hello. Amy, welcome. Diet Coke 123, hi. Super Ken, are you our besties? I am your besties, Amy. I'm your TikTok boyfriend. Glad I'm here. Apparently, I almost got kidnapped on Sunday by three guys. Glad my man saw them coming. <laughs> Who the fuck was trying to kidnap you, Vaughn? Three men were coming at you in different directions. I'm 30. I don't have time time for boys. I need, need men. It seems like they're hard to find. <sighs> the older we get, the harder people, good people are to find, Rosie. I feel you. But the faster they show you that they're not the one for you, the better. Wouldn't a guy wait until you're comfortable for an intimate relationship if he's interested? If that's what your boundary is. If your boundary is that you like to wait and he really likes you, then of course. You're not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm here for you. What about when it feels like you're you're there as a security blanket? Um, go on, Dina. Elaborate. Seriously, right? They didn't realize I'm too old and being kidnapped. <laughs> So you've been talking to somebody for a, for about a year. Julia, hello. Distance. Okay, so long distance. You've been talking for a year. And by security blanket, are you saying you're sending this person money from a distance? Julia, hi, Alex. Hello. Howdy from Texas. Gabby from Texas. Thanks for being here. Okay, good. So you're not sending them money. <laughs> Amy, welcome. All right, so you've been talking to this, dating this person for a year, or talking to them. Talking. You've been talking for a year. It's long distance, and you feel like a security blanket. Go on. How are you, Tammy? I'm great. How are you? Jillian, thank you so much for the follow. Have you FaceTimed them? It just seems like a relationship of when I move, move to. I'm not quite sure that's going to pan, pan out. So you've been talking to this person for a year. They want you to move to them. And you don't feel like once you move, it'll work out. And why is that? Hey, did you, when did you get here? I started like, how long have I been on here? 14 minutes. You, have, you didn't get any notifications? I love the relationship talk. It's so good. Well, thank you, Jillian. I'm so glad that you enjoy my expertise. <laughs> Just kidding. Why are guys always in a rush to meet you? Bokita, hello. Um, I'm wary of being in a rush to meet in general. Like, I want to talk to you for at least two weeks before we're, we're meeting. Liam, thank you for the follow. User 21, thank you for the rose. Relationship a convenience. I want them. I want them to be a rush. I hate talking, talking for weeks and never meeting. I'm gonna need you to call me when you go live. I mean, book, book a call. 
Amy, thank you so much for clicking my little heart person and face and FaceTime within a month. <laughs> yeah, for sure do that. <laughs> No, I like um, getting to know somebody for at least two weeks. You know, I mean, bare minimum one week. But two weeks, I feel like, is the sweet spot. Talk to somebody for a couple weeks. Get to know them. Get to know their attachment style. Because uh, we're not wasting our time on avoidance. We're not wasting our time on somebody who takes six hours to text back. I'm scared to allow someone into into my world right, right away. Melina, thank you so much for following. What's your opinion on long distance? Um, long distance is great as long as there's plans to not be long distant. That's the important part. If you're just long distance, it's like, oh, let's see what's happening. Let's see what happens. No. Like there needs, there needs to be, um, there needs to be a, a goal, you know. There has to be talks of like, well, who's going to move? And you need to, you need to be, you need to be dating each other while you're apart. You need to figure that out. You need to figure out FaceTiming. You need to figure out watching movies together. You need to figure out playing video games together, like whatever it is. Like if you're going to be long distance for a minute, you still got to you still got to go on dates. You got to you have to figure out how to spend quality time together and it's hard. It's hard when you're long distance, but there also has to be a target that you're moving towards. Of like where like when are when is somebody moving? Who's moving? And go to that goal together. Okay, fair. Two weeks, but I, but I've had a month or more just talking out meaning. Yeah, no, thank you, no, thank you. That's way too long. It doesn't hurt to go for a drink or coffee and see if there's if there's no connection in person. Then you, then you know some are good at texting but not in person. But what a waste of time, you know. I'm not gonna drive and get coffee with you <laughs> just to find out you're a shitty texter. <laughs> Tabs, thank you for being here. Friends with the likelihood of meeting when I move to the state this summer, to that state this summer. Me and my guy played played online games before meeting. It was fun, exactly. So fun. Thank you for those likes. I feel like we can talk for a month, then trash in person. In uh, person is terrible. Yeah, I feel like a month is way too long. Um, two weeks though couple weeks perfect amount of time that's a good point you just made but what if they're the type the type to gossip man that's that sound bad <laughs> are people really serious at our age most just play games when i say our, our age i mean mine i feel like people are serious at all ages it depends on the person not their age stevie welcome if you're running into a lot of unserious people, you're very, very likely dating an avoidant person of some sorts, whether that's fearful or dismissive. Anxiously attached people and secure people, they're ready. They're ready for love. They're not going to play games. You know, they're, they they want to figure things out. They want to figure your dynamic out. They want to communicate. So if you're running into a lot of people like, uh, is anybody ready to settle down? You're messing with avoidance. Leave them alone. What they speak badly about you to others because you met them. <laughs> you're just old. Uh, so you're old and, <laughs> and you're struggling? That's another thing. Like, the older we get, the harder it is. The harder it is to find healthy people. It's just, it's just math. Like, tell other people what you tell them. So you might have to, you might have to go for the younger guys, Amy. I would, I would, if you consider yourself quote unquote old, I don't know what that number is, but try, try younger. Not too young. Not too young. It definitely is the person. I've been mature early on when it came to how I deal with situations. Exactly, Vaughn. I'm old and struggling. What do you do if you're ready for a wedding but find out your partner never wants to have a wedding? Well, Jillian, you... We have we have an extreme and is is your want of a wedding as extreme as their want of not wanting a wedding? You need to have that discussion. Um, if a wedding is that important to you, then then it has to be an ultimatum. But one of you are one of you obviously are gonna have to sacrifice your want. Either that person is gonna have to be like fine. 
we can have a wedding or you're gonna have to be like fine we don't have to have a wedding it ultimately depends on if you're willing to sacrifice your want for that person like what means more to you does this person mean more to you or does the wedding mean more to you and the same with them do you mean more to them or does not getting married mean more to them it ultimately comes down to that then it's not what you like to think they aren't for you trust is earned IMO I'm not trying but I feel that but I but I need to know sooner rather than later my kids are 30 my parents are 60 and it seems it's one or the other not in between It's different when your boyfriend is 40 and you're 19 and scared to meet due to safety concerns. Yikes. Do they not want to get married or just not have a big wedding? What does a wedding mean to you and them the same? Amy, Amy riddles us. Arno, hello. I mean, that's a fair question. Like, by they don't want a wedding, do they just mean, like, girl, let's let's just elope? Let's just sign some papers. Thank you for the likes, everybody. All the best. But it's the same answer. No matter what your answer is, my answer stays the same. He just doesn't want the government involved. Got you. So, I mean, same same answer applies. Like, if you can find a compromise and in between, go for it. Like, if you can have if you can have a, a ceremony, invite your friends and your family, but you just don't become legally bonded, binded. That's a fair compromise. You can figure it out. Because I don't want a wedding, but I get married. I want a wedding, but still need to be asked. That depends on a lot of saving money or to to buy a home. So a legal marriage. You can have a church wedding and not have a license. Exactly. You can find out a way to have a ceremony and not get the government involved. Fire Lily, hello. But I will let you know. The FBI was in here earlier. So they're watching. And they'll know. Because you just told on yourself. <laughs> so I keep I keep getting hit on by men my children's age or, or my parents' age. <sighs> um... Amy, so your your children are 30. For you specifically, I would try to find the diamonds in the rough. I would try to find the good guys that are 36 plus. And no protection for you. Don't don't marry him. Then why would you not be why would you not be protected? Fun fact, wed weddings were originally only done by clergy. Well, thank you for the fun facts, Helios. A faith love. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. You've had a few future fakers. Those are always fun. Where do you meet men? Online and bars aren't great. Aren't great when you're older. Jasmine, hello. Um, Rosie, you, think of the kind of guy that you want to date. Think of the kind of guy that um, you want to be your life partner. And then think, what would what kind of things would this guy do? And then go do those things. Do you know the, the letter E is a number in algebraic equations? Isn't that cool? I learned it today. That is cool, hard face. Yeah, my kids' friends hit on me. I think my daughter daughters were a tad miffed over it. I had an accident also, and if I would have been married, I, I would have been protected, but we acted. I'm almost 50. I know I don't look it, but do you think 36 is a bit young? It is a bit young for 50, but they're out there, I'm sure. I wouldn't go younger than 36, though, if I were you. Now he's in the, the home with someone else. Michelle, hi. Grease Love 87, hello. Thanks for the advice. Got to get some sleep for work tomorrow. Have a good night. Well, Jillian, thank you for being here. I'm 44, but look younger. I mean, shout out, shout out to y'all. And you're aging. Oh, you're looking fabulous. That's what happens when you hang out in the galaxy love. You just age slower. Ray, thank you for being here. Tammy, thank you for those likes. 
2,000 likes, y'all the best. Aging slower. This is my first time here. I love you guys and gals. Well, Amy, thanks for being here. If you're not a Love Ranger yet, if you don't follow me, click that follow button. Click the star, become a Love Ranger. It's only one lunchable month. So you're not in your car? Tammy, what car are you talking about? The love ship? Can cars be in space? We're literally in space. This is the galaxy of love, Tammy. Hello, Sarah. <laughs> the love ship, thank you. Thank you for correcting yourself. I have... I have a two year younger age gap. I I won't do anything younger now that I have dated some someone 10 years older. Well, Vaughn, hopefully you marry the person you're with. You guys have been together for a while. Yes, my apologies. <laughs> See, Dev, hello. Like, I wanna meet him, but I realize now that I'm not at the same maturity level he is. Riley, you're 19 and your boyfriend is 40? Hey, Riley. Hey, Riley. <laughs> We're not... Hey, Riley, we're not doing that. Amy, thank you for those likes. You're for sure not meeting this guy. Um, Daddy Super Ken doesn't allow it. Thank you for likes, everybody. <laughs> Two generations. How long is too long to be with someone and not get married? Last relationship was four years. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, sorry for the buzz in. Um, how long is too long to be with someone and not get married? If marriage is the goal, if you're not, mm, I don't, I don't know. That's a, it's a, it's a tricky question. I feel like. As a man, I know pretty instant if I want to spend my life with you. And when it comes to proposing to you, it's a matter of are your actions consistent with that feeling? Or is that feeling fading because your actions are not congruent with what I would want my wife to be? And I'm waiting for the for that behavior to come back. Am I waiting am I waiting for you to act like a wife again? Because if, I, if I'm with you beyond like three months, so like if I'm four plus months with you, chances are I'm like, I could see my life with this person. I'm, go I'm gonna marry this girl. And then it's like after the four month mark, it's more so of like, is her behavior still in line with how she was the first three months? Like, is she still wifey material? I mean, I'm gonna propose to you in less than two years. If, if you're still congruent with who you were in the beginning. And then we're going to, like, once you're engaged, it's like, all right, let's start planning the wedding. So if you're not, if you are a great person and you're still the same person you were in the beginning of the relationship, and if you're not engaged within two years, and after that engagement, you're not planning the wedding, that shit's too long. That's just too long. So I would say anything longer than two years and you're not proposed to, it's not looking good. Not looking good. Going on seven years, no ring yet, though I'm in no rush. Hey, everyone. Hello. Hello. How are you? My daughter's dad is 10 years older, not 20. It was tricky, I think. I have a fun fact, but TikTok is censoring, so I'm going to split it up. <laughs> two years the most. Can you know a walrus? I do know of a walrus. People usually know if you're the, the ideal person. It has a it has a bone. It has a bone with only one O. Do I know a walrus? It has it has a bone. So didn't he abuse fucked up? <laughs> two, two years. <laughs> Two years is like the max. Um, me personally, my lovely girlfriend is not gonna, it's not gonna be two years for me to propose to her. That's how I feel, okay? As long as I'm not crazy, I don't mind a long engagement. <laughs> but yeah, two, two, like two years is like, that's like max. Like if you're not engaged in two years, you know? Five to seven 
is the only gap I'm comfortable with now that if I'm not if I'm not smaller. Riley, you're 19. For you personally, Riley, I would I would not be dating guys older older than like 26. Like you need to chill with the 40 year olds, girl. I agree. Two years. Some people say three three after a divorce. So marriage is the only path. Marriage is not the only path. If you don't want to get married, don't get married. I think my guy is going to do something big, I think. But I'm such a minimalist. Sigh. See, it sense for me. It's a boy part. A walrus? I don't I know. I don't get it, Amy. A walrus has a bone. Are you going to get married or propose? Ken, I am going to get married and propose. I'm tr you're 20 in a few weeks still. Still, Riley. 26 is like the oldest you're allowed to date. Don't waste time in meaningless relationship. Ladies, know your worth. Yes, chill. I wish I wouldn't have been with older. Keep your youth. He cheated on me in the end because I was depressed around, around the vid and he didn't like it. I was living in fantasy land and hyper fixation and now I'm snapping out of it. Hello, Tristan. Oh, how exciting. Congrats. Well, thank you. I haven't proposed yet. But I will. But I will. Amelia, hello. Thank you for the likes, everybody. I'm already sold. I'm already sold on my girlfriend. Y'all don't have to worry. Thank you for the likes, everybody. I was married for 32 years and probably won't get married again. I mean, patience. If you're if you're done being married, that's fine. Your girlfriend has a beautiful smile. Her smile is so beautiful. Thank you, Riley. Andrew, hi. She has the cutest smile ever. Lex, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for those likes, everybody. Breer, hello. I thought there was a glitch with the raw horse and a bone. I don't get it. Miriam, thank you for being here. I froze. Um, I don't get the walrus in the bone. I don't get it. Love is what it is. He's still cheating on his current girlfriend, who I know. Oh no. Girl, hello. Walrus and a bone. Stop saying walrus bone. <laughs> what am I supposed to be saying? <laughs> So much better than before. Thank you so much for being here. YC, hello. Ken is apparently too young for this. I don't understand. Hello, Caesar. I thought they were jabbing at me for being old, but just realized there is another Amy in here. There, yes, there's so many Amy's. Gucci time, hello. Yolanda, welcome. Cindy, hi. Sabrina. Sheena, welcome. Thank you for the likes, everybody. Thank you for all the follows tonight. You're the best. I'm old too, so, so it's okay. I know. Um, everybody in here is so old. Like, it, like if you, sometimes it feels like I'm doing a live to a retirement home. You know, like sometimes I feel like I'm doing community service. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Um, I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> If no one told you today, you're doing great. Well, thank you, Sabrina. You're doing great as well. How old am I? Um, I am... Damn. I am 30 and 29 months old. I sent you an IG message to explain it. Well, thank you. <laughs> I watch your mouth. <laughs> Community service. I let her stay with us when she visited and she knew a lot about us and betrayed me. You're young? Well, thank you. Oh my god, my stomach hurts from laughing and trying to not laugh at the same time. <laughs> not 30 and 29 months. <laughs> Uh, 
So is she getting a dose of her medicine? 100% karma is real. User 57, thank you for being here. Yilu, hello. How are you? Sheena, thank you so much for the follow. He's a baby. I am a baby. I am just a baby. Thank you for recognizing. Vaughn, thank you so much for clicking my little heart person. EA, welcome. I am just a baby, and it's about time everybody recognizes that. Night Gamer, thank you so much for being here. Anna, thank you for those likes. Caesar, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I am a baby. Esther, hello. You have kids my age? Shout out to your kids. Hello, Liz. Master Stan, hello. Joey, welcome. Anna Banana, thank you so much for being here. Michael G, hi. SC11, hello. I feel like a man will cheat no matter what. I mean, I've never cheated, which is unfortunate. You can be perfect, but he is a Anna, thank you so much for the follow. Tiffany, thank you for coming back. Hello, Cynthia. And Julie, thank you for those likes. Sheila, hi. Broadway Makers Marketplace, hello. Selena, hi. Ashley, thank you for being here. I appreciate it so much. All the best. Thank you for all those taps. Almost 4,000 taps. Thank you. Little two rules. Yes. I mean, like, if he wants to, he will. You can be wife material and he won't appreciate it. Yeah, Rosie. Cheating has to depend on the person who cheats, not on you. Cheating is a reflection of them. Never, never a reflection on you. Thank you for the likes, everybody. Men will cheat when they they know other men will be an option for their women, but they don't have any lined up. Um, in a relationship, you should pay attention to how a man treats you when you are ill. This is how I feel about TikTok tonight. I know, Amy. TikTok not letting you have your walrus joke. Nicole, thank you so much for the follow. It shows that they have empathy. Facts. People with low empathy will dip the moment the moment you're sick. They're out. 100% I had to learn the, the hard way. First relationship, I was 24. Broke up at 28. Now I'm 30. Hello, Freddie. How are you? Thank you for those likes, everybody. My man has gone and got me juice at 3 a.m. because I was not feeling good. That's adorable, Vaughn. We love that. Exactly. Mine was okay. I got hurt and it was horrible. I'm betting now his loss. Good, Tammy. Nicole, hi. Thank you for being here. Michael G, thank you for the slice. He took care, care of me. He hurt me until he hurt me. Oh, I'm sorry that he hurt you, Tammy. I'm glad you're doing better now. When I needed meds, my ex let me borrow his car to go get it. <laughs> Aw. There's no green flag emoji. Experience teaches wisdom. I agree. Thank you for likes, everybody. Hello, Jazz. He really is such a great guy. I'm grateful to have him, and he knows I appreciate him. Vaughn, he seems great, other than um, the fact that you've been together for eight years and he hasn't proposed to you, and he also doesn't make you Facebook official and he doesn't approve you on his Facebook. Other than that, he seems great. <laughs> Unless I'm remembering. Unless that's another guy. <laughs> I thought dating old, older that men would want to settle down, but I feel like it's worse sometimes. I mean, Rosie, you're onto something for sure. Um, older does not mean ready to settle down. Older mean older and single means usually they're awful at relationships. That's why they're older and single. <laughs> It was well a learning experience. Yes, on the something for sure. I mean, red flags can be interesting, just statistically, because you can you can find some diamonds in the rough. It's not a hundred percent, but it is harder to find somebody somebody good who's older. The older they are, the more likely there's something up <laughs> if they're still single.
Exactly. Not always. There's always exceptions. People who are widowed, we love that for us. You know, we don't love that for them. Like, RIP, RIP. <laughs> you know, RIP, but <laughs> we, we, we love widows for us. What makes you angry in your relationship? Angry. Um, for me personally, being disrespected makes me angry. Um, if you're not, if you are not considerate of my, of my needs and my feelings around things, that makes me angry because I'm such a considerate person and I, I'm constantly considering my partner and how they feel about things. And if you don't treat me with the same respect, it makes me angry. Not me. I left. I just haven't tried. This is true. seems like they all went fun and I went long term. If you get cheated on, what can you do to the guy to miss you? Any advice? Ava, you've been cheated on. What you can do is move on and live your best life, girl. That's the best revenge. You get cheated on, show them, that, show them how bad they fucked up but never take them back. You, you don't want that guy to miss you. You want that guy to know that he fucked up for the rest of his life. You want that guy to talk about you forever, about how great you were. And how bad he fucked up. You want that guy crying in a bar about the one that got away and it's you. That's what you want. There's a ring, but he has yet to do the, the D. That's why I'm thinking it's going to be big. Well, damn, Bon. Yes, inconsiderate. Yes, I agree. I dated someone who deleted all the important people in their life off of their Facebook right before. Before they accepted my relationship request. <laughs> damn. <laughs> They're like, uh, I'll I'll accept your relationship request, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be a very personal Facebook, just the two of us. <laughs> what the fuck? Mm -mm. When they break up with with a person their own age, and then they significantly younger. Oh, sorry, I'm about to get trapped in. <laughs> yeah, I'm thirty. I'm looking for thirty to forty years of age, but no luck. If you're 30, Rosie, you could you could date younger, but I wouldn't date younger than 28. And I'm I'm just gonna throw out throw this out there. Like I feel like I have this theory. I have the 26 to 36 theory. I feel like the the gold mines the gold mines are in 26 to 36. So look, look in that age range. But you personally. I would do 28 to 36. I wouldn't I wouldn't touch 40. Rosie, don't do it. So what do you do when you're angry when when those respects and care are not reciprocated? Um it it depends on what it is. You ha obviously have a conversation about it. You set boundaries around it. And if those boundaries are constantly being disrespected, it's time for an ultimatum, you know? Because we can't allow disrespect and abuse our entire relationship. Because that's how manipulation occurs. We cannot let people manipulate us forever. If they're hurting us and we let them know that they're hurting us and they don't want to do anything about it, fuck them. You know? Go abuse somebody else. Thank you. I've been, I've been sad it was four years. Just the two of us. You have a feeling I'm going to be surprised like probably a hot mess. Just the two of us on Facebook. That was me together for four years and cheated. It's been 26 now and it's hard. I turned down, I've, I turned down to 37, I'm 44. Like here's, here's the thing about, here's the thing about my age theory. I feel like if you, if you are 30 plus, the good ones, you're, I don't want to say all the good ones, but you're more likely to find the good ones in the 26 to 36 age range. However, if you're watching this and you're over the age of 36 being like, what the fuck? What about me? Well, you're clearly an exception. You're in the galaxy lab. You're clearly a healthy person or trying to be. Um, but for you, for you, look, look for the good ones in the 26 to 36. Trust me. I should email all the guys I dated between 26 to 36 and let them know they missed my prime. 
leave when disrespected. Yeah, facts. You said I can. Nelly, thank you so much for following. I'm going to have to go younger. Give me fries. Thank you for the follow. I mean, Tammy, honestly, honestly, unless you find a, a male widow, it's tough. It's tough. The older we are, the tougher it is. That's just how it is, unfortunately. Are we growing trees in the galaxy of love? Of course we are. They were younger for me, and they were, they were horrible, and now I see why. I thought about that. I feel like communication isn't common, um, nor is common courtesy. What do you think? I feel like bad communicators are selfish and low empathetic. It's a, it's a sign of low empathy. If you're not a good communicator, um, you have little to no empathy. That's just how I feel. Like if you're not willing to communicate to your partner, um, update them, let them know what's going on. Mm, low empathy. My mom was widowed and she, she went nine years younger. All the best in you, all relationships be blessed. Well, thank you. Thank you, Faith Love. Thank you for all the follows tonight. I should have been in the on TikTok sooner, Ken. You're smart. Well, thank you. Thank you. Hello, Hannah. Hannah, no banana. Thank you for being here. 14 more minutes and it's bedtime for your boy. So get all your questions out while you still can. Pete, thank you for being here. I agree. Poor com communication, no empathy, and that's what happened to me. Narcs everywhere. My ex has showed zero human decency toward our son's fiance. I keep wondering why I even married him. I'm sorry, Vaughn. He did play victim card too good. Yes, I'm tired. Good to see you. Well, thank you for being here, Tammy. Thank you for all looks, everybody. When should you move in with the partner? It depends. It depends on the circumstance. If you live, if you live in the same, if you live in the same town, you can take things a little slower. But if it's long distance, you should be moving in. You should be moving in after you've decided that you like each other, and that you want to pursue a life. But same town, you can you can go a little slower. Like you can wait. You can wait like six months a year. But if it's long distance, after like three months, fucking, what are you waiting for? Move forward. Birdsey, thank you for the follow. We all have weakness even when it seems like we don't. What is, what is your weakness? My weakness? Um, My girlfriend is my weakness. Carl, thank you for being here. Like is very important along with love. Carl, hello. Riska, hi. It still seems kind of fast. I mean, when you're long distance, it's like the only option. It's tough. Jeremy, hello. It's tough to stay long distance forever. And to, to be clear, long distance to me is like anything beyond like six hour drive ken's weakness is two margaritas like it and it annoys me when people are like oh i'm in a long dis distance relationship they live like an hour away the fuck did you just say <laughs> i did it six months and my accident was at one year and 1.5 he attacked well damn bailey hi thank you for being here Tasha, welcome. Amanda, hello. My ex wouldn't drive to me because I was an hour away. He <laughs> started coming around when I moved closer. That's insane. Three hours isn't long distance. It's just a road trip. Exactly. It's barely, three hours is barely a road trip. If I was in California, I would make a scene right now. I've learned a, margar a margarita machine is dangerous. I was eight cups in. I was like, I'm so hello, Amanda. A margarita machine. Happy Friday, Tasha. Happy Friday to you too. It's Friday. The fuck? I thought it was Thursday. Damn. Crazy cat. Crazy cat lady theories. First week in the new house. That's first week in the new house. 
I would say Kania now. Don't go under. Love, love yourself. I used to fly to my exes. Four beers in. A day behind? I'm so upset that today's Friday. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn. Hello, Blake. How are you? Thank you for likes, everybody. Purple Rain, hello. Blake, thank you for the follow. Ali, thank you for being here. Kojo, hello. You need help with well, Ali, what do you need help with? So many Allies in here. Oh, you need you need some advice. Oh, I got you, girl. Doing good. How's your night? My night is great, Blake. Did you think it was Thursday? I did think it was Thursday. Now I'm cut now I'm upset. <laughs> Gisella, hello. You're better than me. I hate to drive into him every time. Imagine flying. Flying back and forth does suck. It is awful. Stephanie, hello. User 33, welcome. Tammy, thank you for the sex. Kojo, thank you so much for making that Corey shake its ass. I followed you back. I appreciate you. Stephanie, hi. My sister's in Cali right now, and she's freaking out because it's it's 9.05, and she just jet-lagged. Cheyenne, hello. Well, I fly for free and can, can at least take a nap. I struggle taking naps on planes, but I feel you, girl. Thank you for likes. Hello, love. Jaybird, hello. Ruthie DK, welcome. Bray, hi. Imagine all the husbands. Vaughn, thank you so much for making that Corgi shake its ass. And I followed you back already. <laughs> Imagine all the husbands sitting sitting next to their wives watching <laughs> and pining over Ken. I know. I love I love when other people's wives pine over me. <laughs> I'm really struggling with my self identity. <laughs> what the fuck, Allie? How do I know I'm shy? Um, here's the good news, Allie. You don't have to pick. With the right one, you don't have to pick. The right one is gonna do all the things to you, Allie. And whatever you're in the mood for, go for it. You know? Roll the dice. Heads or tails? Thank God. <laughs> Tammy, thank you so much for making that Corgi shake. Thank you for likes. Thank you for all the Corgis tonight, everybody. Y'all the best. <laughs> Big spoon or little spoon? There's still the thing. <laughs> There's still the thing that's more fun. Yeah, you can you can do you can do all the things, Ali. Congratulations. Thank you for the likes, everybody. I'm glad that I could help um, with your identity crisis. The last one beat me when I tried to switch things up. Thank you for supporting me. You're welcome, Allie. Hopefully that stops happening. That's unfortunate. Hello, Vicky. Thank you for being here. We do not condone violence. <laughs> okay, occasionally, occasionally verse. Jonathan, I. Thank you for the likes. Yeah, get, a, get away from him. Don't, don't kinkle. In a very serious way, we don't condone violence in here. Hello, Holly. <laughs> Make sure to condone it. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Hello, Rachel. Thank you for everybody. Depends on the mood, exactly. Exactly, Bond. Just depends on the mood. Allie, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. All right, y'all. Six more minutes is bedtime. Thank you for the likes, everybody. Kojo, thank you for those likes. So what is my preference? Depends on my mood. Hello, Kayla. Um, but my preference, obviously. Your boy's a um, dominant vanilla daddy. What are signs you may be dating a married person? Signs you may be dating a married person. They want to hide you from social media. They don't want to post you. Um, they're wearing a ring. Uh, they possibly have a tan line on their ring finger. 
Um, they aren't available certain times of the day. They aren't available certain, certain times of the week to simply talk on the phone um, or see you. And that's very consistent. Those are signs you're dating, dating a married person. <laughs> what happened to the car? The car's being sit in space. Um, the car, the car's in Ohio. The love ship is in Ohio, but it will be here. Don't you worry. I will drive the love ship across the country. You're gonna be a big spoon tonight. We'll do your thing, girl. KD, welcome. Stuff in the house. The love ship is in Ohio. And when do I choose myself instead of the married person? Um, when you're when you're done having fun with the married person. <laughs> You know, if the if the married person night gamer, if the married person isn't choosing you, then take your power, have fun with them. And when you're done having fun with the married person, give them back and go about your merry way. They only come come to see you when you when you can't come to see them ever. Exactly. That's that's another great sign. They only come to see you and you can't come come to see them. You can't come to their house. They're only coming to your house. But you can't come. Um, and like, if it's only the weekends you can come, mm -hmm. business trip, you know, they're out of town, the spouse is out of town. My man has some crazy exes, like one tried a few times to, mm, damn fun. Where's here? I'm in California, bruh. I'm a Californian surfer now, dude. Ken is doing a, going to road trip cross country, but ro won't road trip with me. Sorry about it. <laughs> you big, you big with this red flag. Why do Melanie so much of a follow? You'd love to go on a date with me, Leah? Well, unfortunately for you, I'm wiped up. I'm married. Sorry, Leah. Obviously, the married person isn't choosing you. When you find that boy that lays it down better and better and you just leave, y'all messing with married people. Sometimes it is what it is, you know? Don't do that because karma is real. When when you get married, it will happen to you. But I know he's married. We all, we all play a Pokemon Go together. <laughs> I know Ken won't road trip with me either. You're in California? Yeah, bruh. Ken, I'd rather go alone than go with you, but I get it. I'm making my girlfriend road trip with me. He's just not down for the time. Um, I'm making my girlfriend fly with me to Ohio, and we're going to road trip together. That's how we met. You met them on Pokemon Go. <laughs> Hello, Samantha. Welcome. Maybe a, a minute. Mm. Nah, I feel like... I feel like if we all road tripped, literally the first rest area, I'll be like, oh, you two seem like you need to use the restroom and then I'll pull over and you'll get out and your boy your boy's your boy's gone you know then she's lucky I'll give her road, road trip ideas she is very lucky to be going on a road trip with me I don't think just a hundred percent a hundred percent I'm zooming off <laughs> you guys will never see me again <laughs> okay gotta start my own live join in sometime when you're bored well Tasha thank you for being here he knows I'm not into girls, but he, but he likes weekend nightcaps. He lives at the rest stop. Yeah, I would. Am I toxic? Um, Hilo, describe yourself and I'll let you know. I'd give you something on the road. Thank you for the likes, everybody. Y'all the best. Hello, Heidi. Um, if you're, if you're new here, click the follow button. Follow me on Instagram, at SuperKenGaming. If you want me to follow you back, drop a corgi. I'll follow you back. Um, if you want a phone call with me, if you want to FaceTime with me, Link tree in the bio. Book a phone call. Book a FaceTime. For men, does the timing have to be right for them to commit? No, Becca. If commit, you mean relationship or I'm, I'm assuming relationship. We know immediately, and I've asked this before, women feel the same way. Everybody, men and women, know immediately when we meet somebody within the first couple of minutes within the first couple of seconds if we want to be in a relationship with this person so if he has not committed if if this boy has not committed to you 
or there's no indication of commitment anytime soon. I would say anything beyond two months, no commitment, the fuck are we doing? You're wasting my time. If this boy has not asked you to be his girlfriend after two months, stop wasting your time, girl. Stop wasting your time. Damn, Ken, stop making me laugh hard. I, I really don't want to laugh. <laughs> Trucker, stop ditch. I could tell him so many fun facts, but no. Um, I'll pass on the fun facts. Thank you. I have a story. I block them and expect them to email me. <laughs> You're toxic as fuck. <laughs> How many paid phone calls turned into more? One. One paid phone call turned into more and it's my girlfriend. <laughs> I had one paid phone call turn, turn into my current relationship. <laughs> Zero. He won't let it get weird except for one time. <laughs> Ken, I'm telling your mom you ditch me and Amy. Fucking tell her. I suspect you don't either. Why the fuck would he would he live with me blending family and care for me injured and literally grabbing grabbing me with my I could have I could have swore his current turned into something more. I did. I did. TLC other arm broken and he knew it. Just controlling. I mean, Tammy, that's a very abusive person. And I'm glad you're out of there. Hello, Giuseppe. Callan, hi. Thank you for the likes, everybody. How are you, Giuseppe? Heard you're doing advice. Big purr. That's what I'm here for. I got you. <laughs> Kojo, my hair's been talk brown, but I appreciate it. Thank you for the likes, everybody. Emmanuel, hello. Come on, hi. Okay, that backfired. I told my mom and she said she's pro she'd probably leave us too. Can your hair color is confusing? It's metallic brown. What's confusing about it? Bobby, welcome. How are you? I'm great, Giuseppe. How are you doing? Mary, hi. Metallic brown, yes. <laughs> Raccoon, hi. Very welcome. Brev, thank you so much for clicking my little heart person. I appreciate it. My mom loves Ken. Well, moms usually love me. And I love moms. Jo, hello. Angel, hi. It may not have been fair. Your mom loves Ken. I'm scared. I need your help. How do I tell my family and me and my brother are in love? <laughs> um, big purr. If you're struggling with telling your family how um, you and your brother are in love, maybe do like kind of like a gender reveal party at, at like a family, like the next family reunion. And instead of like a balloons full of like, colored flower you could fill the balloons with like portraits of you guys kissing or something we're expecting i'm seven months i didn't know well you're finna now you know you're about to find out <laughs> kevin thank you so much for the follow Nico, hello. Giuseppe, thank you for so much for clicking my little heart person. Melon, hi. <laughs> Andrea, hello, how are you? Thank you for, bring, for being here. Everyone who's new, click the follow button. I appreciate it. And drop those corgis and I'll follow you back. Click the star, become a love ranger. It's only one lunch of a month. You don't want to be a freeloader. You don't want to be a freeloader um, like Big Purr is. So, so click the star, become a love ranger. And get love next to your name, just like Amy and just like Tiffany. I love this community. Thank you all. Been having a hard time in junior high trying to send. <laughs> You're going to do the cake thing. Um, I, I feel like the picture on the cake should be you and your brother kissing. Just let them know. <laughs> Angela, hello. <laughs> I walk into. It's okay to love your brother. Just don't love your brother. <laughs> 
<laughs> Just everything. Thank you so much for the pepper. <laughs> Look at those cute emotes you could be using, just like Amy. If you weren't such freeloaders. <laughs> Giuseppe, thank you so much for the finger heart and the chilies. Different able sibling baby baby coming soon. I mean, the more toes the better. Giuseppe, thank you so much for the heart puff. How fun is a sleepover every night? <laughs> I mean, whatever makes you happy, girl. Thank you for luck, sir, buddy. Alex. I know what you mean. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm following. <laughs> Hello, Amy. <laughs> exactly. Nine toes is better than five. <laughs> For sure. Like, imagine, imagine how good that baby's going to be with, with math, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> Like for us, like the, the nine multiples trick stops at 10, but <laughs> not for your baby. <laughs> They're gonna be so good at counting. <laughs> Victory, thank you so much for being here. That's <laughs> from Ohio, he knows. <laughs> I do know. Victory Vixen, thank you for being here. Big Purr, thank you so much for all those heart puffs. I appreciate it. <laughs> hello, Jerry's. Thank you for being here. Gustavo, hello. All right, y'all. I'm going to go to bed. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for all the gifts tonight. Some three corgis shaking their ass. We'd love to see it. Um, click the follow button if you're new. Follow me on Instagram at Gaming. Click the star. Become a Love Ranger. Do not be a freeloader. Be a Love Ranger like Vaughn and Amy. And Tiffany, we don't want to be freeloaders in here. Break out your mom's credit cards. Click the star. It's only one lunch one month. Maybe that baby will be able to climb walls and stuff and like have a forked tongue or fins. Fins would be cool. Having a mermaid. Having a mermaid baby. We love that. Can I ask you a more serious question? Wait. <laughs> Let me know if you want a picture of my walrus fun fact. I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't want that fun fact. All right, good night, everybody. Um, follow me on Instagram at Gaming. Goodbye, everybody. Sweet dreams. <laughs>